Today we're going to show you how you can upload your manuscript onto Google Books so your books can be available worldwide. It's a matter of just uploading onto this platform and you're set. And because you upload it yourself, you don't have to share your royalties with any third party. However, having said that, I would recommend using something like Draft2 Digital for distribution to other smaller ebook distributors worldwide. But the Google Books platform is easy enough. This is Emma Wright with your authorbusiness.com. So let's get started. Before you can sell your books, on Google as a Google book, you need to make sure that you set up a Google Play account as a publisher. So the website is play.google.com slash books slash publish. And once you get there, you go to get started now if you do not already have an account, or you can go to the continue to partner center if you already have an account. On the left hand side, it says book catalog, analytics and report, promotions, payment center and account setting. So book catalog is where you need to add your new books. Select the add books tab and then follow the prompt. This is the book that I already have. I have a new book which is called Giants of Rain. So once this pop-up screen pops up on us, we would need to enter the ISBN that you have. And if you already have a book on Amazon, you would have an ISBN for it. So be sure to enter it there and then Google will automatically collect the information. So what I want to do is I want to go to Giants of Rain on Amazon and then collect the ISBN that Amazon has already given me. The other way is to get my ISBN from the ISBN identifier. I have a vid video tutorial already on that, so we won't go into further details on this. So I just want to get the ISBN for this. Now, in the event that you do not want to use the Amazon ISBN, you can also check this box. And then what Google will do is they will provide for you their own ISBN. So we're going to try and do this and see how it works. So the format that we have for this is a digital format, although you can actually even sell your own paperback. Having said that, I would not recommend that you sell your paperback through Google Play because the paperback that they sell is really the scanned version of your book. So if you have a textbook or a nonfiction book that you want to make available worldwide and you don't have the capacity to sell the paperback worldwide, then it might be an interesting way to try scanning your pages onto Google and they will allow that. I am not going to recommend that. However, you know, it's up to you. Just wanted to add that real quick. If you notice here, this is the identifier that Google has given me since I have opted to use a new identifier as opposed to the one given by Amazon. Also, be sure to populate your title, your subtitle, description of your book and other contributors that you might have. If you have an illustrator, I only have an editor here and also your biographical notes. Finally, I wanted to go through with you the BISAC since we're in North America. You if you just put down the whatever it is, like for instance, I have your young adult fiction, it'll prompt you as to what kind of fiction it is. So in this instance, it will be young adult fantasy epic you can actually add on quite a few. You might want to add on with as many subject for your bisect as possible. And then that way it'll have better discoverability, especially outside of the United States. You might want to research that if you're living outside of the US. And then below here is the series name, the volume series name, and then also the language which in my instant will be English in the US. As you can see, I have already added a few more and then this one is under the UK and Australia. And then this is the series name. And as we go down, there's a couple more things under age groups. Since it's a young adult book and there is some misconception as to what a young adult book is, especially for the reader community. Some people who are adults who are younger think that young adult books are for people who are 20 years old and over, but actually young adult books are essentially books for children who are between between the ages of 11 and 18, or maybe the maximum is 20. So if you're 22 years old, even though you are a young adult, you're technically uh, do not fall under the young adult books if you're looking for young adult books. Although I can realize nowadays the content in young adult books are a little bit more adult than young adult. And there's actually a new category that was uh, created. It's called new adult. So that would be for people who are a little bit older, like 19 or 19 and up. So young adult is basically for people who are in high school or maybe even in middle school. So I've decided to include all three age groups from because this book is written for primarily like a 13 year or 14 year old, but a young reader who is more advanced will be able to read the book quite easily. Older children, like maybe a 17 year old might be able to enjoy it as well. Here you put down the page count and when you want the book to be on sale, and then you put on the publication date. I'm just going to put it as today. And then finally, you will put down what it's related to because if you have the book already on other platforms, like I have them in Amazon in, and also in 
in Nook and so on and so forth. I'll just use the Amazon ISBN. You can just say like it's related to a paperback or a digital. Or if you don't know, just put down unknown. So that's how I'm doing it right now. Once you're finished with this, click on next. And then you may want to also label this, you know, however you want to label it as. Since I didn't label it as anything, it just basically gives its own identification over here. And then the next thing is you upload the content. This is for the manuscript. So you can do EPUB or PDF. If you only have a Word doc, please watch my YouTube video whereby I show you how you can actually convert or reformat your Word doc onto PDF, EPUB, and even and even the Mobi for Kindle uh, using Draft2 Digital. And it's under one of my videos that I did. And I'll put the link below. So minutes, you can learn everything you need to learn. Then also the cover images has to be JPEG or PDF or PNG and TIFF. So I'll just upload the content. As Google is processing your book, you can go on to the prices. And this is where you will add in the prices and the currency that you have. So in my instance, US currency and most eBooks of my size will be around $4.99 and it's to the world. Go to next. And then if you want it to say you want it to add it for Canada, you have to put CAD, which is a Canadian currency at whatever price you want it to be. It could still be $4.99 and then you can put CA, which is for Canada over here and make sure you add save. This is not the only place where you would actually manage your currency. You have to go to payment center, see where it says add territory. And this is where you want to actually add the, see here where it says add territory. If you click on territory, you can choose say you want it to add other territories in addition to say you only have it for US, Canada and Mexico, you can add the territories over here. Now continue. Let's go back to the book catalog under settings. It says show photos in ebook only display flowing text from an EPUB provided and include scanned pages and it's not for mature audiences. So this one I'm just going to show show photos in ebook. Now the thing is 20% by default will be um, will be shown which is fine because this will give your book more visibility and you do not want DRM enabled at least I don't. By default it's 20% but you can decide. So I'm just going to hit with 20% and then it says ready to publish. Let's click ready to publish. And this is the territory. Buy a link to text is not keeper rain. It'll be called giants of rain. This is my other book. And this is the buy link. If you click up here, it says the URL of the link displayed for Google books users to purchase the print edition of your book. The book link over here, it's not just for any bookstore, like say a Barnes and Noble or an iBook store or an Amazon store, because as you can imagine, Google books is actually in competition with them, they actually want you to put your own private site. So if you do not sell books directly from your website, I would suggest that you just leave it blank. Google Books automatically provides a list of links to Google Play and third party retailers. So you don't have to worry about filling this up. If you have issues, what you can do is you can learn how to format a list of countries. And if you click there, it'll get you to this page and it'll tell you how you can abbreviate the country that you have rights to. And then you upload your logo if you have one. One, click next. Essentially, you can publish over here, but you will see that, you know, it says notice about uh, my account is that once you have a book ready to publish Google Play or Google Books, there will be a short delay pending a uh, review. In the meantime, I wanted to go through with you some of the uh, things on the dashboard here. You see analytics and reports. So I've just Yes, save. I want to save my changes. If you click on analytics and reports, you will see that you'll be able to get the information that you want. The most irritating thing about Google is that they don't provide a sales dashboard where you can quickly review your sales and your earnings. So each time you want to check your sale, you need to generate a new report and download it on an Excel spreadsheet, which can, I suppose, be really irritating. So hopefully they'll figure something out. And then the other thing also is that the information in the payment center needs to be completed before your books can go live on Google Play and Google Books. Click on the Payment Center tab. Yes, I want to save. Always say save first. Okay, we want to go to the Payment Center. It says, tell us where you'd like to make this book available. Publish to Google Play and Google Books. So Google Play and Google Books are fine. But it looks like for the territories, it wants you to spell out exactly the word world. Otherwise, it doesn't accept it. And then the other thing, it does not accept the word English. It needs the special language, which is the ISO 6392B code. If you click it, 
website, it'll get you to this page because since Google is worldwide, you have to kind of go down and figure out that what you want is uh, English, which is, I believe, ENG. So these are like the tiny little things that kind of make it annoying. This is fine. Okay, once you've done everything correct, it will tell you that it has accepted your book, but it says this, oh no, there's a problem with your book. We may have a few suggestions. Now this may come up from time to time, but you can just click to learn more. Let's hit publish again. It's good that I'm making these mistakes because then I can cover them in the tutorial. Otherwise, you know, you might try different things and then you may get stuck with it too. So the book is currently being processed by our system. So that's good. So one, one other step I want to go through with you is the payment center because essentially you won't be able to publish your book until you've gone through the uh, information that you need to put in the payment center. You can understand why they would want all your information in the payment center so that when your books are sold, they'll have a way to be able to pay you. So by default, you're set up to receive monthly payments with a $1 payment threshold and you can change your payment threshold to another dollar amount or you can have Google hold your payment for a specified period to one year. And then after you've completed this step, you just click add new bank account. And then before you finish setting up your bank account, you need to wait for Google to make a test deposit to your account. And then when you see the deposit has been made to your account, click on add new bank account again to verify the deposit. They just want to be sure that the money is really going into your account. You have to go through the payment center and include your bank account in it. Otherwise you will not get paid when your books are being sold. And then the one thing to note about the payment center also is that if you look below here, it says currency conversion is turned on for your catalog. You can turn it off if you want to, but I would suggest that you leave it on because then that way Google will use whatever the currency exchange rate is for the week or for the day to exchange the book rates for you. We don't know how much a book's going to sell in Japan or in uh, New Zealand. It says here, we're taking the prices you're providing in your home currency and converting them to the local currencies of the sales territories you've selected. If you haven't provided local prices, your books are being sold at the converted prices. And converted prices can be viewed in your book catalog and in your report and be used to calculate your revenue. And so you can click here to learn more, but essentially what it is, is this is the conversions that they're giving me. And it actually does change most up-to-date foreign exchange rate. And so you can refresh and see what the rate will be. Uh, it says that refreshing foreign exchange rates will update all the converted prices in your catalog to use the final, uh, the section on account setting. So you just have to make sure that your information is correct. Now, the good news about Google is that they pay uh, every 30 days after the sales are made, not 60 days like Amazon and Barnes and Noble. So you'll receive your payments sooner. It's easy enough just to remember that you want to go through the payment center and then the account setting. And then once you hit uh, save, you'll be able to uh, publish, but you really have to wait for them to approve your book first, which is what I'm doing right now. For more information on becoming an author, go to yourauthorbusiness.com and subscribe to my email tutorials. Until next Tuesday, when I will add another tutorial to help you in your author business journey. Take care.